Hey guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about ototoxicity. This is a concise presentation for medical students. What is ototoxicity? Ototoxicity refers to drug or chemical related damage to the inner ear resulting in damage to the organs responsible for hearing and balance. It can lead to temporary or permanent sensory neural hearing loss, tinnitus and vertigo. What are the ototoxic drugs? Aminoglycoside antibiotics are important ototoxic drugs. They are streptomycin, gentamicin, tobramycin, neomycin, canamycin and amikacin. Out of these, streptomycin, gentamicin and tobramycin selectively destroy type 1 hair cells of crystal ampullaris. So, they are primarily vestibulotoxic. Cochlea damage can occur only in large doses. Neomycin, canamycin and amikacin are primarily cochleotoxic. That is, they selectively destroy outer air cells starting at basal coil and progressing onto the apex of cochlea. Other ototoxic drugs are diuretics like furosemide, ethacrinic acid, bumetanide. They cause edema and cystic changes in the stria vascularis of cochlea duct. These changes are reversible. Analgesics like salicylates, indomethacin, phenylbutazone and ibuprofen interfere at the enzymatic level and cause ototoxicity. These changes are also reversible. Antimalarials like quinine, chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine cause vasoconstriction in the small vessels of the cochlea and stria vascularis and thus lead to ototoxicity. These changes are reversible. Cytotoxic drugs like nitrogen mustard, cisplatin and carboplatin affect the outer air cells of cochlea and cause ototoxicity. Some of the chemicals that can cause ototoxicity include alcohol, tobacco, marijuana and carbon monoxide poisoning. Other miscellaneous causes of ototoxicity include erythromycin, ampicillin, propranolol, propyl thioerosyl, defroxamine, topical eardrops like chlorhexidine, polymyxin B etc. Thank you.